Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a wheel stitch, which is the stitch that you see here. It's quite a pretty stitch and it can either be worked uh, as a solid color or in two different colors or more colors uh, as I am going to show you here today. The stitch, although it looks complicated, is quite simple to work and is worked using uh, double crochet stitches and double crochet clusters. So grab your hook and your yarn to match and crochet along with me as we learn how to crochet the wheel stitch. So to begin our, cat, our, our wheel stitch today, we are going to start by chaining a multiple of eight stitches plus two. So for the purposes of our tutorial today, I am going to chain a total of 26 stitches. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and 26. And before we begin row one, I'll just take a moment if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I like to update it weekly with free crochet patterns and tutorials such as the one we are working on today. So for your round one, you are going to begin by working one single crochet stitch in the second chain from hook. So you're going to count in, there's your first chain, there's your second chain, you're going to insert your hook in that chain and work one single crochet. Next, you're going to skip three chains, one, two, three, and then you are going to work nine double crochet stitches in the next stitch. So for your double crochet stitch, yarn over once, skip those three chains, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's one double crochet. So you're going to make eight more all in that same chain. You want to have a total of nine. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine double crochet stitches all in the same stitch. You are then once again going to skip three chains. So there's one kind of tucked in underneath there. One, two, three. And then you are going to work one single crochet stitch in the next chain. From here on to the end of your chain, you are going to repeat that process. So skip three chains, work nine double crochet in the next chain, skip three chains and single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to do that all the way across to the end of your chain. When you reach the end of your chain, work your final single crochet stitch in that last stitch and then get ready um, to work on row two. So I'm just working my final single crochet. If I was going to work this in all one color, I would simply uh, work this com cro single crochet and complete it all in the one color. But because I want to uh, add another color into my fabric, I'm going to switch colors at this point. So to switch colors, I begin working that final single crochet stitch. So I insert my hook, I yarn over and pull up a loop. But instead of completing my single crochet stitch with that color, so that's our color A, I'm going to instead pick up my next color and I'm going to put it on my hook and yarn over and pull through. So that's going to get me ready to start the next row in my new color. Okay. 
okay? So then for row two, you are going to begin by chaining three and turning your work. And you can decide, depending on your project, whether you want to clip this uh, first color off and weave it in right away, or for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep carrying it up. So I'm just going to drop it and let it hang loose for a little bit, and uh, I'll pick it up when I come back. Uh, so we are going to begin row two. You've chained three and you've turned. We're now going to work a cluster stitch over the next four stitches. Now to work our cluster stitch, we are going to start by yarning over. You're going to insert your hook in the next stitch, so that's that your first double crochet here. You're going to insert your hook in that stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You're going to yarn over and draw through two loops. We want to cluster over four stitches, so we're going to do that a total of four times. So that was the first time. Next we're going to yarn over, we're going to insert our hook in the next stitch, so that's that second double crochet. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's twice. I'm going to do it again for the third time. Insert my hook in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. I now have done uh, three legs, so to say, and I have four loops on my hook. I need to do one more for a total of four. Yarn over, insert my hook in the next stitch. Yarn over and drop a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now that I have five loops on my hook and I've clustered over the next four stitches, I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to draw my yarn through all five loops that were on my hook. And that's going to complete my cluster stitch. Next, chain three. So there's one, two, three. And you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. So there's the last leg of my cluster, that next stitch, I'm going to work one single crochet stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. And now I'm going to work another cluster stitch, but this time I'm going to work that cluster stitch over the next nine stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook in the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through those two loops. I'm going to do that a total of nine times, so in each of the next eight stitches I've already done one. So I'm just going to continue, yarn over, insert my hook in the next stitch, pull through two loops, do it the same. This is number three, number four, and when you are working the cluster over these nine stitches, your fifth leg is always going to be worked in that single crochet stitch. So that's number five. I'm going to work up the next side. Number six. Number seven. Eight. nine and you can see that I've now worked a number of stitches on my hook there should be ten in total there now once you have ten loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all ten of those loops to complete that cluster over nine stitches chain three next single crochet in the next stitch and then you're going to chain three and repeat that cluster over the next nine. So now you're just going to repeat that all the way to the end of your chain. There's one, two, three, four, five is in that single crochet stitch, six, seven, eight, and then nine. You'll have ten loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all ten loops. 
like I picked up an extra thread there. There we go. Go through all 10 loops. Your cluster stitch is made. You're now going to chain three. Single crochet in the next stitch. When you come to the end of your row, you will see that you have five stitches left. So to complete your row, you're simply going to cluster over uh, chain three and then cluster over those last five stitches. Five, yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook. Now I'm going to want to continue working my next row in this color B, so I'm not going to switch colors at this point. I'm just going to continue with my color B. When you come to the end of row two, you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work. For row three, you are going to begin by working four double crochet stitches in the base of the chain just worked. So if you take a look down at the base of your chain, you will see that first uh, um, chain stitch where you joined your cluster together. You're going to work in that space, sort of the eye of the stitch. So you're going to work uh, four double crochet stitches in the base of that chain. Your chain three is going to count as a stitch. So insert your hook, work four double crochet stitches all in the same space. You're going to skip the chain three that follows and you're going to single crochet in the next single crochet. Next, work nine double crochet in the eye of that next cluster stitch. Nine double crochet stitches, your eye is right here, that's that first chain stitch that you pulled your last uh, cluster together with. So you're going to work nine double crochets into that space. One, two, Skip the next chain three space and single crochet in the next single crochet stitch. Skip the next chain three and work nine double crochet stitches in the eye of the next cluster. So you're going to continue to repeat that all the way across to the end of your row. How many do I have here? Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Skip the next chain three space, single crochet in the next single crochet stitch. And when you come to your very last cluster, you're going to finish by working five double crochet in the eye of that final cluster stitch in that row. So five double crochet. And that is the end of row three. Now for row four, I'm going to want to switch back to my color A again. So before I do my turning chain, I'm going to pick up my color A and I'm just gonna pull it through that loop and it's going to act as my turning chain, which means I am now ready to start row four. I'm going to turn my work. 
For row four, you're going to begin by single crocheting in that first stitch. Again, you can continue working in the same color or change colors as many times as you'd like in this pattern. Then you're going to loosely chain three stitches, one, two, three, and you're going to cluster over the next nine stitches. So you'll remember your cluster, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and drop, pull up, or yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that a total of nine times over the next nine stitches. So there's two, three, four, your fifth uh, leg will always be in that single crochet stitch. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you have ten loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and you're going to draw through uh, your yarn through all ten of those loops. And then you're going to chain three single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, and cluster over the next nine stitches. You're going to continue to repeat that all the way across to the end of your row. Yarn over, pull through all your loops, chain three, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, and cluster over the next nine. yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook, chain three, and when you come to the end of the, your row, you are going to work your final single crochet stitch in the top of that turning chain three from the previous row. So just insert your hook in the top of that chain three and work your final single crochet stitch. Chain one, Turn your work and you're ready to begin row five. For row five, you're going to begin with a single crochet in that first single crochet stitch. You're going to skip the next chain three space and then in the eye of that cluster, you're going to work nine double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You're then going to skip the next chain three space and single crochet in the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. Skip the next chain three, work nine double crochets in the eye of the next cluster. This is number nine. Skip the next chain three and single crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next chain three and work nine double crochet stitches in that next cluster.
skip the next chain three, and then single crochet in your final single crochet stitch. Now, if I was going to change colors once again, I would insert my hook, uh, drop a loop, and then drop my color A, pick up my color B, once again, yarn over and pull through to complete the stitch. I'm now ready to begin my next row. And that's all there is actually to this pattern. From here on end, you're simply going to repeat rows two, which, uh, and the pattern here that I worked, it was that first color where I introduced my color B. You're going to repeat rows two to five for as long as you would like to continue the pattern. And then you're going to end your pattern by working on a row two. And that's all there is to working this wheel stitch. It's a very pretty stitch and it works up very quickly once you get the hang of it. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make the wheel stitch. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.